Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War of the Chos. My name is Saik and we're playing Legendary Iron Man difficulty of Beta 1. This is month number 7 at the very beginning and there are a few missions ahead of us so a lot to look forward to in month number 7. Highlights will probably be the double HQ assaults that we're doing. We're finally freeing the continent of Africa. Um, additionally, we have started in South America just to really build up some momentum. Uh, one of the topics that we did, uh, one of the issues uh, that we've encountered is we were probably short on staffing. So we now started to um, intensify our intel in South America here. Got two missions for scientists, got another mission, I think, for massive intel. And overall, we should be doing well. Um, just the amount of intel uh, that, that we're getting out of it and the two scientists should be worth it. Today we're looking into an uh, easy, pretty straightforward mission. We only have four soldiers staffed on it. An assault, a grenadier, a shinobi and a spark. So no healing, so to, uh, healing, so to speak. No, uh, no real uh, true support. But we should be still fine. We're only fighting against uh, seven to nine. And we need to rescue an VIP from an admin facility, um, if I'm not mistaken, Carlos Lopez. Uh, and uh, this uh, should be good to go. Let's go. Good. And here we are. We just landed in the mission on high ground on a gas station. Why would, I mean, it's one thing if the aliens haven't learned by now that you shouldn't place yourself on gas stations, but what, but why would we do that? This is incredibly irresponsible. We have 19 turns, which is more than plenty. Yeah, moving up. I can handle that. Okay. We've got advent here. Good old random detection. I give you strength. Which forces us to Take drastic measures. I've, by the way, seen a hit point bar down there. So I kind of want to attack from this side. Good. So much for the stealth approach. That I wanted to take originally. Moving to position. Prime Spark is going to move in, and we're overwatching Pitbull and Prime Spark. So that's one down, eight enemies to go. There's uh, the pack I was talking about. Nice little hit. <laughs> oh, I would have been pissed if the mech would have been able to take a shot. Good, running and gunning. That's exactly what I want to do. We might trigger another pack, but we should be fine. Double lightning reflexes. Let's go, baby. That's why the first shot wasn't dealing as much damage. Okay, got you. Where do you want it? Good. 
I'm afraid if we're going too close, there might be a tower down here. Plus, there's a better chance that there is another pack. I want to make sure that we try to stay out of line of sight for them. The mech does not have armor anymore, so that will be a 100% kill. Pitbull uses her massive movement and we abuse the fact that the mech can take high ground without climbing the ladders. Well, we're much faster than I anticipated originally, but this team here, just from a playstyle perspective, we do have an Assault and a Shinobi, which are very like forward-driven. Um, type of characters. Moving into full cover over here. should be a kill. We don't have... Uh, oh, we took blue screen rounds here. That's why the minimum damage is not an automatic kill, but with, with rapid fire it's a very high chance that we're actually killing it. You see that one? So that's four enemies down. The mech blocks any attempt of the enemy to uh, move up here. It's not really hacking when you are the system. Oh, that's good. 100%. I'll take that hack. But first of all, let's do all of the movement. Gotta play it clean. And clean play means no shortcuts, please. Moving over here. On the move. And here, okay. Now we can take the hack. Killed four, five, uh, five more enemies are going to be here. Good, and we're reloading. This is our target, which I'm pretty sure we can take pre uh, take very soon. So one more Overwatch, and there's the last pack. We got four down. That's number five. Moving a bit closer, just to double check if there is another pack. This should hopefully get rid of the cover. I'm so disappointed in the cover removal. Before we charge in, I don't want any stupid moves, so that would be number six, which definitely means there's another pack here. Good 
to go. Moving over. Very low chance to do anything. I would rather do uh, take weapon proximity and move over here. Okay, can already open the door, which is great. Lovely position. We are overdriving. And instead of taking two shots kind of into half cover, uh, into full cover, rather, I much rather would like to crit him. Well, at least we know that this here is not going to trigger another pack. Alright, overwatching. Normally they shouldn't uh, count against the limit of enemies, so I'm still not convinced that that's the last pack. Hacking. Supplies or a PCS? I think we're going with uh, supplies because we're super supply strapped. After you. Moving over. And that ends its miserable existence. No problem, boss. Opening the door. There's our VIP. We're moving all the way up to here because so that means we can leave next turn. Hunkering down. Same here. And let's overwatch. Yep, there is still a pack elsewise. There wouldn't have been an alien activity. Moving our scientists out of here. Great job. Moving over here, just so we're not pulling something new. Good, next turn everyone will just get out of here. And then that would be a flawless mission for once. Pretty simple compared to the last missions that we had. Like that's the sort of mission that I was expecting when we are do uh, when we were doing the smash and grab mission two missions ago. 
just straight up a few enemies and that's it but unfortunately that was not the case okay easy enough the wounded was by the way from the last mission so nothing more to add swordsman gets his next level we're definitely going for blade storm not even a question and that's our next scientist very nice got a new decrease in research timing that's good and by the way whilst we are here on the globe we can finally use the scientist in one of the regions where we are farming for intel might as well use him down here as a haven advisor there we go available Picking a few other Haven Advisors. Already got an engineer there. There we go. And up here. We got a new recruit who helps recruiting and let's get a haven advisor good we're missing a scientist here for intel but that's fine and yeah i mean this here is our next mission Are we letting them continue to infiltrate is the question. Hack the workstation against 18 enemies. We should be fine, but we still got 21 more hours to go. I wish it would show you what the final infiltration value uh, would be. Because I'm thinking whether or not we can maybe over infiltrate it and go down just a little bit. But you know what? With that squad, Soul Specialist. Uh, we still got two squaddies, but it shouldn't be too bad. Just the sheer fact that we do have four, six, seven enemy, uh, seven. seven soldiers ourselves that uh, should be doable and then afterwards i can decide if we want to actually go for the massive 100 percent infiltration and that would mean we're fighting against 48 almost 50 enemies that would be a slugfest for sure On the other end, we have an incredibly strong team, so who knows? I mean, I feel confident that we can take it. It's our prime team. Yet again, on the other hand, you could argue, why would you put them into danger? Problem is, it'll take almost the entire month to go through um the in uh, the remainder of the infiltration i might just want to get that done so that the entire region is uh, liberated let's do that workstation here 
and then do the HQ mission. I think that is that is possible. You guys are looking for an HQ mission, I know that, and I want a hard mission as well, so we're just fighting against 50 enemies. Yeah, that's pretty much it for now, guys. Uh, it's a short video today, only 20 minutes. I, I get it. Not all of the times it's a four-hour mission, and that one was a fast, a quickie. We should be uh, looking forward for the next mission, which is probably going to be a little bit more difficult. Thank you for watching today. If you enjoy the run, leave a comment and a like down below. You know the drill, and see you in the next mission. Bye-bye.